Hi, it's Vincent here. Today I'm going to share with you on VMware Hybrid Cloud on OVH. So the last couple of weeks I've been testing um, an on-premise setup to OVH at Singapore. So let's now take a look at the design. So I have actually have two sites. This is on-premise which is at SunTech and we have the OVH instance in Singapore. What I'm using here is NSX L2 VPN to connect the management components such as the vCenters, NSX managers over the internet. I also have another L2 VPN setup uh, for the compute to stretch the workloads VLAN such as the VLAN 120 over here uh, for the web servers which I will going to use to test in my demo. So these are the few things that I will be showing you. Uh, firstly, to show that the two sites are connected via the internet, I will do some ping test and trace route. Subsequently, I will do uh, use the jump holes on the premise on premise site to connect to the vCenter at OVH. Next, I will use a jump host to deploy OVH directly from OVH. So this is very similar that um, you have some golden image that you have on your on-premise and you would like to deploy on uh, a public cloud infrastructure such as OVH. Uh, then I will, after I deploy the VM, I will use that VM to SSH back to uh, the on-premise VM to show that the NSX L2 uh, network extension is actually working. So now let's proceed to the demo. So I would like to first show you um, the NS, uh, the OVH setup that I have. Uh, basically, I have about a couple of uh, dedicated servers that I got from them, and um, I have installed ESXi on it. So I have already put in a jump host. So this is the jump holes at OVH. Um, just going to show you around uh, this normal vCenter setup. And you can see that this is the holes that I got from um, OVH. Okay. Uh, for the for the management, I use the tick client to show it's easier. Um, I have a domain controller, the jump host, vCenter, and a virtual router. That's what I host it on the management host. This is the compute host. As you can see, there's um, the L2 VPN uh, appliance over here, as well as the NSX manager. So if I go into the network in security tab, and under ages, you will really see the two uh, L2 VPN server. So let's take a look at the management and you go over at uh, over here just to show you that it's, uh, the connection is up and over at the I was going to show you the compute one yeah. so if I go over here at the VPN you can see that it's actually up and running okay so right now I'm going to and, and notice the the domain name by right, vcenter02 over here so I'll close this connection to the OVH jump host and this is at the jump host at Suntec, right, which is basically like your office or your on-premise data centers or uh, remoting into your on-premise data center so likewise um, you show you around going to network and security if you take a look at the ages uh, it's pretty much the same you have the management and the compute so what I'm going to do now is you know, log in to um, I will show you, I already show you that it's up and running so what I'm going to do is just you know logging into one of the holes to show you the L2 VPN connection and probably do a trace route from there if I go to the hosting clusters and I would like to open up, okay, I'll use this, it's much better. 
this is actually compute. So I will actually launch the right and blocking. Okay. Up to VPN. So we can see that it's up and running. Show the configuration of up to VPN. You see that the Fast. This is the server, right? And I will do a trace route to this. You can see the hops that is uh, passing through before reaching to the OEH site. Okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to ping DB Center 02. Right? Okay, let me ping the first B Center first. All right, this is the first B Center, which is you can see that it's on land speed. And if I ping vCenter02, which is um, over at the OVH site, you can see that uh, it's about 3 to 4 milliseconds uh, from here. Okay. So right now, I'm going to log into the vCenter. Okay, so this is the vCenter at OVH. Alright, so I will take a show you the the network setup, um, the network that I, I stretch. So this VDS02 VLAN120, this is the one that I have used to stretch uh, across sites. So if I go and take a look at network and security and you know, take a look at the ages, look at the compute site. Now you can see that um, it's up and running, and this um, this is the same interface that I'm going to stretch. So I'll show you at uh, the SunTech site, which is on-premise. So if I go to network and security under ages, you can see that um, it's the same stretch interface that uh, I did. Right. So if you if I take a look at this stretch interface over here, you can see over here. Okay, so now I've uh, shown you I will deploy an OVA that I've prepared. Um, so this is the host I'm going to deploy. So I have already prepared an OVA, it's about 400 over Mac. It's over here. Can take a look. This one, forward over Mac. Okay, so I'm going to name it as test web two. Okay, I have to pick the resource. Okay, so I want to pick the storage. This in storage. Okay, I'll pick the network. So pretty much, I name the network the same. All right, and I can finish. So if I go and take a look at the task, you can see that it's actually deploying. So I'll leave it running to show you know the actual time how long it actually takes uh, to deploy on-premise um, to uh, the OVH. Now, so the bandwidth I have at uh, the SunTech site is about 100 
Mac of bandwidth, internet bandwidth. And the L2 VPN connection is set up over this 100 Mac of connection. Okay, now you can see it's done. It takes about um, about about one minute, and the VM is all deployed. So yeah, I can now power on the VM. Okay, and take a look at the console. Okay, let's just give it an IP address. Alright, so you can see that this IP address is 10.10.1.20.12. And let's take a look at the IP address of um, on premise one. This is the subject. So let me take a look at the console. And uh, let me, so you can see that it's, let me not think. Okay. okay, the IP address is actually 10, 10, 11. So what I'm going to do now is try to ping on prem one. So you can see that it has connection and you can see the latency is consistent with what we have done on the recenter test. Right? Um, I can even ping... Okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to SSH to on-premise on uh, EM. Okay. Alright, so done. I can SSH back to the on-premise to the IP address. Okay. So this concludes the, the demo. Um, so basically I've shown you all the tests and um, you know, a hybrid setup on-prem to OVH. So um, thanks for watching. See you next time.